All right, Anthony Davis, so third straight road game of at least 38 points for you. You're doing it on 65% shooting. Where's that rhythm coming from, and how locked in are you right now? Uh, just having fun playing the game. You know, uh, I know what's at stake for us, and trying to do my part as one of the leaders of the team. Uh, my job is to go out there and, and make everybody else's job easier with my scoring and defense and, you know, rebounding. So, um, you know, the more aggressive I am coming out, you know, the, the, the game is opens up for everyone else on the team. And um, that's what I try to do, come out with an aggressive mindset and, and, and try to dominate each possession. Clearly, you guys are locked into the games right now. But with each win, your positioning improves some, right? A pretty solid lead right now in the seventh. Still a shot uh, to go up from there and to get a guaranteed playoff spot. How are you managing those two things, playing the game that night and then also thinking about that bigger picture? Control what we control. Uh, every time we step on the floor, we control our own destiny. Um, you know, we go out and win basketball games and let the rest take care of itself. Um, you know, we can't control what other teams do, but we control us going out, playing uh, with a sense of urgency, um, playing with effort, playing with energy, and, and collecting basketball wins. So the more we do that, the better chance we have of putting ourselves in a position to not be in a, in a, in a, not to be in a playing tournament. So D'Lo doesn't play in the second half. Uh, we'll see what happens with him. Uh, Dennis steps in. Uh, you guys have seemed to find some cohesion, though, already, uh, just by having you and LeBron uh, with some of these new pieces back together. How is that coming together at this point? Uh, it's good. Like I said, we have a very high, Q, high IQ team. Um, you know, and when D'Lo goes out, Dennis obviously played those minutes before, you know, when D'Lo was out. Um, you know, them started a minute, so he come back in and, and, and lead the charge. And then, you know, Bronze, you know, getting back after missing five, you know, five to six weeks. So um, he's still finding the rhythm, um, you know, triple-double tonight. Um, so we, I mean, we're locked in. Everybody in the locker room wants to win. Everybody wants to get to the playoffs and, and make a run. So, um, you know, we're, we're finding our, you know, our groove right now um, at the right time. So uh, we just got to keep it going. Last quick one. Feeling a little momentum building? Yeah, um, we got we we getting greedy. You know, we're not satisfied. Um, you know, we coming in doing what we're supposed to do. You know, you know, we think we come in and can play against any team, uh, compete against any team, and um, no matter if they're a playoff team, team that's in a in a position just like us to fight for a playoff spot, or you know, a team who who's out here just just having fun playing. You know, um, until the season is over. You know, we got to come out and, and do what we're supposed to do um, as a unit, um, and it's building our momentum and our chemistry. We appreciate it, man. Thank you. Tar, that's a good start with uh, with Russell. Just uh, what, do, what do you have on his foot at this point, and kind of what was that discussion to decide to hold him out of the second half? Yeah, it was definitely precautionary. Um, just a little left foot soreness, um, flared up a little bit. He could have continued the game if we needed him to, but you know we just got the bodies we have available to us now. We just we didn't want to risk it, so just decided to hold him out, and then you know he'll be evaluated. We'll see how he feels in the morning. Got it. Uh, Darvin, that's three straight games with at least 38 for AD, zooming on 65% from the field, uh, a lot in the paint. Uh, what have you seen from him on this trip? As, you know, as he kind of mentioned, a lot of these are get-back games, and he seems to be pretty locked in. Just coming out with a focus, a sense of urgency, the energy, the effort. Um, you know, we always said we want to get stronger as the season gets longer and be playing our best basketball at the right time. Well, the time is definitely right. And uh, everybody's in a good, good, good rhythm. Um, and, you know, starting with him first and foremost, he um, he understands he understands wholeheartedly what we need him to do, and uh, he's coming out and trying to do that, you know, on an individual basis. But playing within himself, playing the ball, playing the game the right way, really not trying to force anything, and definitely not settling. You know, just being in attack mode the entire time. So. It's great, and, and, and that energy and that rhythm is trickling down to the rest of our roster. Darvin, the last time LeBron played against Houston was back in mid-January. He had to score 48 points, I think, kind of a do-it-all offensively game. Um, he kind of did it all in different, like a little bit of everything tonight. Um, what is it about his skills with the players that you have around him right now that you see him kind of being able to touch the game the ways that he touched it tonight? Well, I think just when you have guys that's able to, to, to take over certain segments of the game, you know, it allows him to save some of his bullets, so to speak, like to save his energy. Um, not that he's not playing hard, but, you know, we're not depending on him for every single thing. He can just sit back, play the game the right way, as he always does, you know, pick apart the defense, whether it's a rebound, whether it's a pass or – a hockey assist, the pass, the setup, the scoring pass, the reads, and I just think everybody that we've acquired, again, the high IQ, 
that's in that locker room, um, the pieces that fit so perfectly around Bron and A. And you're seeing that. Like, it's almost effort. He had a triple-double tonight. It was, like, effortless, you know what I mean? But just not forcing anything, not having to play him, you know, crazy, a ton of, crazy ton of minutes. It's just it's, it's, it's a testament to how deep we are now. And uh, different guys being able to step up from Rui to Austin to Malik, like having those guys outside of A and Bron to be able to step up and, and take control. And those guys, those two, you know, they're our captains, they're, they're our big dogs, but they're encouraging these guys to be aggressive and to make plays as well. So everybody's sharing a load. You guys had 35 assists, and mm-hmm. the team the most you guys have had all year. Um, when your best player is not letting the ball stick in his hands like that, um, does that have an effect, you think, on everybody as a whole and, and totally. gets the ball kind of energized? It's a much more fun brand of basketball to play when the ball is hopping and moving. Um, people making quick decisions, not dribbling two, two, three extra dribbles or holding it for two, three, four extra seconds. You know, you're looking, you're reading what the defense is trying to take away, what they're willing to give you, and you make the right play. Um, and the next guy has to do the same thing. You know, make quick decisions and make the right reads and play with pace. And, you know, the ball gets spread around and, and usually shots go in more when it's like that, when it's in rhythm. <laughs> Austin, just what have you noticed on this trip from AD? Uh, 65%, he's at at least 38 in three straight games. So what are, what are the things that stand out to you on the court? Um, that he's a phenomenal basketball player, and uh, like he's able to, you know, set the tone early and carry a team. Obviously, we have talent around him. You got Bron, uh, and like I said, talent around that. But when AD comes out and you know does what AD did tonight in the last three games, and for honestly most of the season, uh, you know, obviously you have rough games, but. Uh, yeah, he's he's been phenomenal, and you know if he continues to do this, you know we'll be we a problem. Hey, you said in the walk off that it's time to get greedy uh, essentially, but just thinking where you were early in the season in terms of the standings, and you know still being in the, in the 13 even like a month ago, where where are you at mentally with this team right now, and what are you guys feeling in the locker room? Uh, mentally, we're at a great great space. Uh, obviously, wish we were number one, best team in the league record-wise, uh, but, you know, uh, since the trade deadline, you know, I feel like we've played really, really good basketball. We've gelled really well together. Um, and like you said, you know, get greedy and, you know, win. Might as well win out, you know, play every game to win. Uh, so that's that's the mindset, taking one game at a time. But like I said, every game is, you know, uh, we're going – and with you know really good confidence, really good uh, energy, and feel that we can win the game. It's weird to say that, that LeBron was in a complimentary role, um, but <laughs> when when he plays that this style of game tonight, where he's able to to orchestrate and, and to set tempo and stuff like that, what what's it sort of like to watch him work um, this style versus say like just you know the nights where it's like brute force and he just takes over? Yeah, I mean obviously every game you know demands a different thing from him uh and you know with his ability he can do he can play really any way you want him to play or that he wants to play to be honest uh but like i said with ad being as aggressive as he's been um i I mean personally i don't think anybody can guard him uh so that's that's the AD we want, and obviously Brian's going to figure out you know how to you know, beat Brian uh, tonight. Eleven assists, you know, what is it, twenty three points? But like, like I said, he figures out what the game needs from him. Like he's that good that he don't have to just play one way every game. He he figures it out. So there's one week left in the regular season. What's the feeling right now of the the final? test of the 82 and what's beyond uh like i said you know it's every game from here on out's major uh and we're going into every game thinking must win and then we have a very good you know opportunity to win and then that will you know put us in whatever position you know of playing game 60 whatever we get you know if we have a good energy and feel to go into the, the postseason, you know, it don't really matter 
uh, as long as we get in the postseason and, you know, are playing basketball. Rue, we just asked uh, AD kind of about your game. He said that the defensive end stood out the most. You had three blocks, uh, getting on the glass. Uh, is, was it a certain point of emphasis for you tonight and, and coming off the Minnesota game as well? Yeah, you know, um, I think uh, me and the coach has been talking about defense, you know, this whole time, you know, since I got here, Lakers, and, you know, um, they really wanted me to play defense. Um, well, they want me to have impact on the defense side. So, you know, I've been, I've been watching a lot of film, film with the coach, you know, and uh, I think it's been – it's been great for me, you know. I've been learning a lot of stuff, and uh, you know, just watching AD, you know, how to, you know, block, how to like timing the back, block shots and stuff, and like, you know, it's just like a, it's been great, you know, uh, for me. Yeah. And then just the connection that you have with LeBron. Uh, there were several times that you guys connected on the offensive end of the court. What is his coming back from his injury? What does that help to you with uh, on the floor? You know, I think uh, me and him can, you know, uh, connect uh, a lot because you know. Cause him too, but like I like to run the floor, so you know, like he he likes to, he needed somebody to run the floor with him too. So you know, I think uh, me and him can connect in uh, uh, those sides, you know, and then even the you know the on the half court too, you know, we um, I can be physical, you know, uh, I can shoot threes and stuff. So I think uh, it's a good fit for me. Yeah. Have you uh, found a level of playing harder as the time you spent more time with the Lakers? Like, do you feel like you're, you're playing? It looks like you're playing harder. Um, I think uh, it's more like uh, I'm still getting the rhythm, you know, that's the, um, you know, one one thing, you know, because uh, once I get in the rhythm, I can kind of read the game, so, you know, I can move faster, you know, I can kind of, you know, um, get in the position, you know, uh, getting more be physical, you know, I don't have to kind of pause for a second, so I think that's the helping me. So some of that's just a recognition of yeah. what you're asked to do once you have that embedded in your brain. That you just, like, yeah, exactly, you know, like, you know, I don't have to think about it, I just kind of, you know, I already know I'm in the rhythm, so, you know, I'm in the flow, you know, so, like, I can be, you know, I can play harder, you know, like, you know, being aggressive. You know. Thank you. Good. Thanks, All right, thank you. When we were in Chicago at Shoot Around, you laid out this trip, said it's a get back trip. You said that you guys should embrace the moment you're in. You backed it up. You talk 38, 38, 40. What type of rhythm are you in right now? Uh, great rhythm. Uh, feeling good. I feel like I'm back to my myself before the injury. Um, but we're all playing well. You know, we're making it, the guys are making it easy for me. You know, let me have a lot of space to the top of it. And then when I don't, you know, find the guys making the right play and they're making shots. So everybody, I think our whole team is in a great rhythm. Um, and we're playing, you know, Lakers basketball, fun basketball, and um, it's fun, it's fun and exciting to watch. You've seen a lot of different versions of LeBron. There's the version that takes over game with the score. What about this one tonight that kind of picks spots and feels like he's able to kind of like almost surgically kind of figure out the, the right yeah. way of the game? Yeah, and that's what he did. Um, he shows the moments where he needed to score to go score. Um, when he needed to play make, he play makes. Um, you know, when he's you know on that level, obviously we know he can score with the best. Obviously, you know, the best score to ever step on a on the basketball floor. Um, you know, he's able to adjust to the game, whatever the game needs, and uh, you know, that makes him um, the player he is. You guys obviously made the offensive circle the best is really different than it was at the start of the year, really different than you know, with injuries. What does it feel like you're playing this this kind of basketball the last time you're on sort of this sort of yeah. push uh, to it? Well, yeah, we kind of have to um, with the position that we're in. You know, we have to be able to win basketball games and win, you know, a lot in the world. You know, um, you know, I think everybody in this locker room, well, I don't think, I know everyone in this locker room wants to win and everyone is uh, pushing for the playoffs, you know, not just to play in tournament, but actually, you know, getting six seed or higher. Um, and uh, we're playing like it, you know, guys are putting a lot of confidence, um, locked in on both ends of the floor, and, uh, you know, our coaching staff is locked in, and, you know, with the way we started, you know, we're embracing the moment, um, maybe the time back, and we're two above 500 now, yep. two above 500 now, so, um, you know, that's a, 
small victory within itself, you know, uh, <clears throat> thinking about the way we started 2-10. Uh, but now we got to keep it going, um, you know, with two more games. What impressed you the most about Rui and the way he played tonight? Defensively. You know, obviously we know what he can do offensively. Uh, you know, may range and get to the basket and shoot, but defensively, uh, I'm not sure how many blocks he hit, but he hit some three, three you know, huge blocks. You know, contest at the rim, you know, gosh, on a dunk. You know, he, he go get those those blocks. So um, defensively, he was really great tonight. Some of the momentum uh, building, you said, well, yeah, but you got to you know, take it one game at a time, uh, certainly. Uh, how, how does that feel, though, now? Another game, another good performance, you know, AD, another uh, another 40, uh, Rui, you know, uh, uh, things clicking. Game ball definitely go to Rui, for sure. I mean, he was all over the floor, not only offensively, but defensively. Big time, couple big time blocks. Uh, rebounding out of his position. AD was AD. AD's been on the tear, and then the rest of us, we just try to fill in and, and make up. So, uh, big time game for us and um, you know we want to try to continue it. Darvin and AD said that, that kind of part of what's special about you and actually I'm sorry Austin said that you'll just sort of figure out within the course of the game what you need to emphasize. All right, uh, what was that tonight and what is that with this new group with this with the lineup with the guys you have coming off the bench? Yeah, each, for me each game can be uh, different you know if it's my scoring is needed and you know, I can look to uh, score more tonight I felt like it was more of a facilitating uh, game especially with D'Lo being out in the second half but we got to go on early my guys was running the floor they was making big time shots. I wanted to find AD uh, early and often. So, uh, you know, I kind of focus my game on just getting, you know, guys available, uh, getting guys uh, pass on time on target, uh, try to rebound out of position, uh, make a couple buckets uh, as well. But um, definitely was a facilitating game for me, just reading the game the right way. I think you guys have season high in assists as a team tonight. When you mentioned kind of get those get ahead passes, I think yeah. in the first quarter there were like four of them that were mm -hmm. right on target for different guys in labs. How contagious is that sort of style? And once like the ball starts hopping like that, just how much easier does things get? You, you can have a lot of success in this league when the ball is popping and everybody feel um, in a good rhythm offensively. Um, the good thing about our team, we have a lot of firepower, and uh, you can uh, can't just key in on one guy. You know, you know, obviously AD is on the tear right now. Um, you know, I can be really good um, offensively, but when you got AR in the rhythm that he's in, uh, Rui, um, the, his, his ability to score the ball, um, obviously D'Lo, um, Dennis. Um, you know, bees when he gets catches fire, and we got. I mean, we even got Lonnie sitting over there as well. If we need to have somebody to come and jumpstart, uh, so offensively it should never be our problem. We should always just worry about you know making the extra pass. You know, you, know, you make the extra pass, and like I said, everybody feels in a great rhythm and it's contagious. Your first 15 years or so in the league, availability was one of your, your top assets, and hey, you've had some injuries you had to deal with the last few years. Has it made you understand AD on a deeper level, um, having to go? through yourself and all the pushing it takes to, to get back and the expectation you have for yourself to play at a high level um, to see him having done it this year again um, yeah. after last couple well, I mean I don't need to go through injuries to, to feel for my brother I mean I don't like him ever going down so I'm um, just seeing the injuries that he's had over the last couple of years I, it's always it always hurts me um, and I know it hurts him a lot worse but you know just his dedication to just trying to you know get back and get back and, and, and at times playing through it not even telling people when he's injured trying to play through it all the way to can play anymore. So, um, but um, you know, it's great to, to be available to each other. You know, I hate when I'm sideline and he's playing, and I think it's vice versa when you know, um, you know, he's sideline and I'm playing. So, you know, we, we came together because we want to be on the floor together and, and make magic. So, um, he's definitely making magic right now for sure. You spoke highly of Rui the last two games. What have you seen out of him? Last game, this game, that's so beneficial for you guys? Well, I think um, he's a rhythm player. And, uh, you know, when he knows he's going to play and he's going to get a, a you know, significant amount of minutes off the bench, I think he could be, you know, really, really good for us. And I think, uh, you know, Coach Ham has done a great job over the last couple of games, including the coaching staff of uh, finding a rotation um, that, that's been fitting our team. And Rui has been um, one of the first guys off the bench. And, you know, we, we, we look for him. Uh, we know what he's capable of. I mean, at his size, it's not many guys at his height and his size and his his uh, his, his equip uh, build to uh, be able to, to guard him on the offensive end. Um, but tonight he was very assertive, and uh, that's why we went to him more and more and more.
1920 season, of course, you guys are pretty big roster and the start this season a little bit smaller, but then Vando and Rui, you know, come in and you've just seen more lineups the coaches can utilize there. You know, the rim's 10 feet tall. I know it's not that simple, but are, are there certain things that that's allowed you guys to do and kind of get back to some of the way you play? Uh, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of length in this league, and uh, we lacked that early um, in the season, maybe the last couple seasons. So, uh, like you said, to add Vando, to add Rui, to add Mo, um, you know, uh, winging over the last year or so, that length alone makes us a better it makes us a better team defensively, you know, and then offensively those guys are, are, are threats as well. So uh, it's big time, and uh, you know we need that for sure because it allows us to keep bodies on bodies and defensive rebound at a high level. And when we rebound, we're a really really good team. Uh, we're a really good team offensively. We're not talking about we're not talking about huge samples, but when you D'Lo and, and AD start a game, you guys are six now this year. Um, what, what, what's the what's the ceiling? Um, uh, we, uh, we just want to put ourselves in position to be able to compete for a championship. Um, you know, and uh, you know, but it, but it takes it's, it's, it's a journey, and obviously we don't have as much chemistry as a lot of other teams that's trying to compete for a championship or have aspirations to win a championship. But you know, um, I like we've been building over the last uh, month um, or so. Um, even when I was out for the four weeks, I like we were building, and I'm happy to be back in the mix, and we're, we're still building. So um, these last uh, few games, four, I believe, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four games are very important for our team. It's you know not only on the wins and losses, but like the, the chemistry side of it as well. We want to continue to build what we've been building over the last uh, month or so. So um, see what happens. Appreciate it. Thanks.